Chad is a little-known Central African country that is completely landlocked. It is bordered on the north by Libya, on the east by Sudan, on the south by the Central African Republic, on the southwest by Cameroon and Nigeria, and on the west by Niger. It is the continent's fifth largest country, with many zones ranging from the Sahara Desert to the Sahelian Belt as well as savanna zones. First things you should know about Chad is his. History and Background The country is sometimes referred to as the dead heart of Africa. Anjamina, formerly Fort Lamy, city, is a capital of Chad, located on the country's southwestern border, adjacent to Cameroon. On January 21, 1942, Anjamina was bombed by a German aircraft. After the war ended, local parties started to develop in Chad, on July 12, 1960 France agreed to Chad becoming fully independent. On August 11, 1960, Chad became an independent country. Second one is the What Chad country is famous for? Chad country is famous for camel hair carpets, all kinds of leatherware, embroidered cotton cloths, decorated calabashes, knives, weapons, pottery and brass animals. Other than that for his Lake Chad the country is named after Lake Chad. It is the second largest lake in Africa and the largest wetland in Chad. Lake Chad is a freshwater lake that touches base with Nigeria, Cameroon, and Niger. It has shrunk by as much as 95% since 1963. Third is Advice from the tourist and media. Let's start at the start, and make this crystal clear. The thought of you traveling to Chad does not sit well with the Foreign and Commonwealth Office. The country's security map is fully red in color. Because of its past image, due to the threat of terrorism, kidnapping, unrest, and violent crime, Chad is extremely dangerous. Following national elections on April 11, a violent confrontation with armed rebels erupted in northern Chad. Terrorist attacks are also a major risk in Chad, especially by the Nigerian militant group Boko Haram. Fourth is, some of the most known information about Chad country. 1. Anjamina has the only international airport in Chad. The airport is dual used, with civilian and military installations on opposite sides of the single runway. 2. The country has never been able to make it to the FIFA World Championships. However, they have had some popular soccer players. 3. To this day, Chad has only one television station, Tele Chad which is owned by the state. Radio is the main source of media coverage in the country. 4. Chad is also known as, the Babel Tower of the World, because of its cultural diversity, it has over 200 ethnic groups and 100 languages spoken in the country. Fifth one is, some amazing and some shocking facts about Chad. 1. The Tubu tribe of the Tibesti Mountains is regarded as the best camel racers in the world. Competitions to decide the village champions are organized on a regular basis. Tourists come from all over the world to compete in camel races in the mountains. 2. Chad is divided into three climate zones, in the north, the Sahara Desert covers a third of the country, with extremely hot temperatures and low human density. The Sahel Belt runs through Chad's central area, marking the transition from desert to tropical climate. Chad's climate is primarily tropical in the south, allowing farmers to cultivate their crops and the inhabitants to settle. 3. Chad has substantial gold and uranium reserves, but these resources have not been fully exploited because the mining industry has received insufficient attention and investment since the discovery of oil. Sixth one is. Some sadistic facts about Chad. 1. Unfortunately, Chad is one of the world's poorest and most corrupt countries. Forbes.com listed it as the world's seventh poorest country in 2008. It has also appeared on several rankings of the world's most corrupt nations. Despite this, the country has significant oil, uranium, and gold deposits. 2. 80% of the Chadian people live under the poverty line. 3. Chad has a doctor shortage. There is only one Chadian doctor for every 23,600 inhabitants in Chad. In terms of general development, this is one of Chad's most pressing issues. And at last, four famous tourist attractions in Chad. First, Tibesti Mountains. 
If you travel to the far north of Chad, you come across a place where the Sahara Desert rises for the sky. The Tibesti Mountains, which stretch across the Libyan border, save their show-stopping moment for Chad in the form of Emi Kusi, a shield volcano with a height of 3,445 meters. This makes it the rooftop of the Sahara. Second, Lakes of Aunianga. The Lakes of Aunianga are a set of 18 lakes in the Sahara that are Chad's only World Heritage Site. The lakes have a total area of about 20 square kilometers. They're in a sweltering desert and get their water from subsurface fossils. The names of the lakes are based from Aunianga, a local native hamlet. Because of the rapid rate of evaporation, the water is frequently saline, and the lakes have lovely colors. Third, Abesh. Abesh is Chad's fourth largest city and the country's cultural and anthropological hub. The city is home to the ruins of historic strongholds, monuments, and graves of former sultans who once governed Chad. The city is a huge cattle raising complex with large highways connecting it to N'Djamena, Sudan, and Abesh Airport. For many years, it served as a bastion for the French and served as a trade route for Arabian slaves. Markets, mosques, churches, and buildings from the French era are now tourist attractions in Abesh. Fourth, Zakuma National Park. Zakuma National Park, located in the country's southeast, is a popular safari destination and one of Africa's few central wildlife refuges. Despite the fact that Chad is rarely promoted as a safari destination, the park is home to a variety of rare mammals and birds, and lodging is available in the form of camping grounds that provide the greatest game viewing area. Numerous restaurants and a hotel have also been developed within the park.